Hello, this is Dr. Randy Morris. I am a board certified fertility expert and the medical director at the world renowned IVF1 Fertility Center in Naperville, Illinois. And this is Infertility TV. Endometriosis is a common problem which can cause both infertility and pain. Doctors grade endometriosis based on how much is present in your body. The grading goes from stage 1 or minimal to stage 4 or severe. If you have stage 3 or 4, then you have cysts in your ovaries called endometriomas. If your doctor sees these cysts, should you have surgery to remove them? Well, the answer is complex. On the one hand, some studies do show an improvement in your chances to get pregnant by having surgery. On the other hand, any surgery on the ovaries will cause the loss of some of your valuable reserve of remaining eggs. Women with decreased ovarian reserve have a lower chance for getting pregnant. Endometrioma cysts can be difficult to remove, and it's common to have some bleeding in the ovary, which the doctor has to stop. To do that, he or she will often use electricity to cauterize the bleeding. It's very effective, but is more likely to cause the loss of eggs. So this question is probably best answered by having a consultation with your physician after close review of all the variables in your case. Now here are some general guidelines. Consider leaving those endometriomas alone if, number one, you are older, two, you already have borderline or low ovarian reserve, three, you have previously responded poorly to fertility medications, four, you have large endometriomas or have them on both ovaries, and five, you have already had ovarian surgery in the past. If you and your doctor have decided that surgery is best for you, then make an agreement that less traumatic methods to stop bleeding like suturing or gels be tried before resorting to electrocautery. If you like this video, remember to like this video and share it in your support groups and on your favorite social media channels. Do you have a topic or question you would like answered on Infertility TV? Let us know in the comments. You don't want to miss any episodes, so subscribe to Infertility TV now and visit our website at IVF1.com.